Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina and today we're gonna take a look at some doll stuff that I ordered online. These are a couple things that I ordered online, especially this one right here because I hope it's the what I think it is because if it is, I'm gonna be very happy and shocked. So, um, I think this is a Grail doll that I ordered recently that I wanted to be on eBay and the rest is either Macari and I got something from Etsy that I want to show you guys. That has to do with a video that I have coming up at the end of this week. So, I'm definitely excited to show you guys what I got. And also, I have a box that's already open from Macari, so I'm going to show you that first. So, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing that I got online, I got from Macari. I got a really good deal on it. It was this fashion... I think it's Fashion Avenue. It's this Fashion Avenue. It, it, the packaging looks like Fashion Avenue, but it says Bridal Fashion from Barbie. So I got this Bridal Fashion from Barbie. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know why this wedding dress is here. This is one of the options. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know why. And also, I got a actual Fashion Avenue outfit, which this is from the year 2000. And I love how it came with two magazines. It's super cute. And Valentine's Day is coming up and I'm super excited. I can't wait to do my doll photography for Valentine's Day. I have so much planned for my dolls and it's super, super cute. The other thing I don't want to show on camera because it has to do with that photo shoot and I don't want to spoil anything on my for my doll Instagram people that follow me on YouTube. So yeah, that I have to leave to the side. But this, these two were another purchase from Macari. So this and this was bought together and I got it for a really good price. I highly suggest Macari if you guys want like, like vintage doll clothes or doll clothes from earlier years. Like this bridal set right here is from 2001 and I just thought it was so cute because it had the ties and it, it just was giving the look that I was looking for as far as a dress. So I really do love this and it has a genuine Barbie and I love the shoes and the veil I'm not so much too fond of. There is another wedding dress that I am going to order because you know um, I want options for what I'm planning to do. So definitely you guys will be informed too because I'm going to be doing some crafting as far as the wedding dress and what it has to do with that and the photography and everything. So also let's go ahead and look at this. So I got this fashion pack from Walmart this weekend and I thought this was super super cute it's the Barbie kind of like a fitness like a tennis outfit it kind of looks like a lounge tennis outfit so I just thought it was super cute it has a it has a blue headband and it has the stripes and it's like a muscle tee and it has the waistband with the athletic shorts I think it's super cute so it'll be real cute to dress my doll with some athletic gear because me personally, I started Pilates, so I'm super excited to like take photos of my dolls doing like Pilates poses because me, myself, I joined Pilates recently and I'm very excited and my first class was so much fun and I cannot wait to go this week. And then the next thing that I got is from Macari. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So let me grab my scissors so I can show you guys what I got. Oh, yes. So this is from someone on Macari. They were selling like some cannon clothes and I thought it was so cute. So these are some Ken pants. And aren't these the cutest things ever? And Black History Month's coming up, so I think this is just perfect for Black History Month. I don't know about you guys, but for me, this is perfect for Black History Month and I cannot wait to dress my doll for Black History Month. Like my Ken dolls and my Barbies, cannot wait. And then I, it also came with this other Ken pants right here, which is super cute and I really like them. It's like splash pink and I really like it. I like this because it's very 90s and the 90s style is one of my favorite styles. It actually matches my hair clips. Do you guys like my hair clips? Super cute. I don't know, like I was trying, like I don't know, I've been in my Y2K mood lately. But um, yeah, I definitely love this style and I can't wait to put this on my Ken dolls. And also I got this shirt, Ken, which is another 90s shirt, which is so cute. And I think this is just so cool. Like, you know, I've been wanting to do, I love doing like throwback pictures with my dolls, making them look like they're back in the 90s. Love that. And then the last set, the last piece that it came with 
is these shorts right here, which is super cute. And honestly, I feel like this could fit Ken and this could fit my Kirby doll. I kind of want to wear, put this one on my Kirby doll to see how it looks on her. But yeah, I definitely love these shorts and they have these little tassels, so cute. And it stretches, I love it. And it's still in good condition. So the person that had this had to have like a collection or something. Or they just had like their doll clothes in a nice thing and they had it in like a ziplock bag very nice it, i really do like the pieces that i bought and i think i paid only like seven dollars for this or eight dollars so let's move on to the next package that i got all right so the next package i got is from the doll planet and i ordered some doll hair from there because if you guys saw me on doll Instagram, you guys probably saw on one of my posts that i had got the hair salon Barbie which I'll show you her let me show you her really quick so recently I purchased this hair salon doll from Barnes and Nobles and I bought her to do a custom doll so that's something that I'm gonna be working on this week so now you guys know that I am gonna be customizing this doll which is why I got a package from the doll planet and from the doll planet I ordered some hair and this is the hair right here it is I'm doing a mix of two different hairs. Let me open both packages because I have two packages so I can show you everything. All right, so this is the nylon golden copper. So it's kind of like a reddish orange kind of hair color. And I'm going to be mixing this hair color with this color right here, which is the ginger red. And this is nylon which is um standard temperature nylon hair so i got the small pack of this and a bigger pack of this so i i plan to mix these two hair together to make kind of like a redhead type of hair do for the doll so i'm really excited about that i cannot wait to do that with you guys on camera we should be starting that at the beginning of february which i'm really excited to do and then I also bought a hair um, rooting tool because I do need one because, you know, I when I did my my mini me, I didn't have to have a rooting tool because I wanted to give her a lock look, which usually, like my froggy stuff, you use yarn to give more of a lock look. You know, if you want to do styles and stuff, you use like a stretchy yarn and you take it up a needle that has a big hole and you thread the yarn through the needle and you pull it through the doll's hair plug and then you pull it out with pliers. So I didn't, I never had to buy a rooting tool. So now I bought a rooting tool and also this comes with a size five needle, which is in here, right here. This is the needle. And they, I looked online, they said that this would be a good size for rerooting. So you know i'm excited to start doing some custom dolls because if you guys don't know i actually am pretty good at drawing so you know and i'm a pretty good artist so i'm cannot wait so it gave it came with a couple of size five needles and i really like that and there's a little barcode right there i guess so you can see a tutorial on how to use it in youtube and it also has a doll planet picture right there in the front and I'm very excited, you know, cause now I feel like I'm at the point where I really want to bring out my artistic side, which you guys see some of it in my dioramas and you see, you guys see it in my dollhouse customs, but I really want you to see my art side as far as me restyling dolls and giving them a whole new look and making them look more personal, like more my style. Like my mini me, she reflects a lot of me because you know, I created her to be my style, but I didn't like repaint her face. I used the Katherine Johnson mold. I used the Barbie style number three, I believe, the curvy one. And then I like to use hands from the classic Barbies instead of the curvies because I feel like the curvy hands, they break easily. So I use the regular classic hands on my dolls. And then, yeah, so that's what I do with my mini. That's how I made my mini me pretty much. And next, what I want to show you guys is my big package, which I cannot wait to show you guys. 
I think this is a doll that I've been okay so this doll let me give you a little backstory so there's a doll that I've been wanting on eBay forever I been wanting this doll for a whole year I haven't bought it because she was hundred and ten dollars at the least online and I was like at this at the time I'm like I don't want to pay that much for a doll and I don't want to you know right now I can't do it I'm you know like I'm not the type of person I'm not gonna spend my last on a doll you know like I have to have cushion money and I have to be like okay I feel comfortable paying this much for a doll you know and it has to be like a reasonable price so recently someone on eBay was doing a bid for the doll that I wanted really bad and I couldn't wait to see what happens because I had placed the bid and it was like three days left on the bid and then I ended up winning the bid so I ended up getting her for like I think around $50 which came out to like 70 with, with shipping and I saved the I saved the little chunk because these because this doll like online I could never find her cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up to show you what doll it is. All right, guys. So we got her open and it is her. Oh. Okay. So this is a hint of what doll she is. So this is the bag that they say that she comes in. So I got the C's Barbie doll. So it's like C's candy Barbie. So I got the working day one, the African American one, and this is the bag that comes with it. So I am gonna be keeping this. And then let's have a look at the doll. I'm so excited, like you guys have no idea. I've been wanting this doll for so long. So let's have a look at her. It comes in this white box that is so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open her up. Oh my God. You guys, she's so pretty. All right guys, so this is her. Oh my God, I'm so in love with this doll. You guys, like, she's holding a piece of chocolate from the Seas Candy, and you guys see a box of chocolate right there in the corner. And I've been wanting her for so long. This is like the Seas Candy, um, A Happy Habit, which is like the first job. And oh my gosh, it's just so, so cute. So it's Barbie doll's first job, sees candy salesperson. And this doll is from 1999, and it's so adorable and cute. And it comes with a little cash register. It comes with a little tiny booklet of classic chocolates from Seas Candy. And it shows Seas Candy famous old time candies. It has a little shopping bag in the corner. And then it has the seeds candy right here in the corner and it has also like a little storefront side right there and I love how her hair is tight and it has a little hair net in the back I love the outfit the outfit is absolutely darling and I cannot wait to have her on display she's so gorgeous I just love the way she looks look at the stocking she comes with these sheer stockings and on the inside she's wearing some black shoes and i'm so in love with her i'm just absolutely in love with her and the register looks really good for it to be from 1989 it looks really really good so yeah this was one of my holy grail dolls and she has like a little bow in the back i don't know if you guys see that in the back of her hair because it's pulled back into a bun and this is the face mold that i love that i grew up on and you know, back then I wasn't getting like collector dolls like this. I was getting more so Playline with this face mold. But I'm so in love. Like if you, one day I'm gonna take the time and show you guys all my uh, collector dolls like this, so you guys can see my whole collection. So I cannot wait to show you guys that. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have this doll or is this one of your holy grail dolls. So yeah, guys. So this is pretty much it for my doll purchasing haul that I got over the past week and honestly this is one of my favorites and I'm so happy that she's in my collection I can't I'm very speechless right now and I'm just gonna stare at her and look at her I don't want to open her right now which is why I didn't unbox her because I like to have a stand and have everything ready 
for when I do unbox her. So for now, I just want to enjoy her inside the box. I hope you guys understand. But um, definitely stay tuned because I do have some other things that I ordered that I do want to show you guys on my channel. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram if you don't already do. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.